In this video we are going to create a so-called button batch. In this example we are creating a new Viking batch, but you can easily change the design to suit your own wishes. We start with a white canvas. I make sure that the rulers are switched on and draw a couple of guidelines that cross in the center of the canvas. The guides are useful when creating circular selections, as we will do in the next step. First we create a new layer. Then we select the elliptical marquee tool. We place the cursor on the intersection of the two guides. And while holding the shift and alt key, draw a circle with the intersection as the center. Shift makes sure that we draw a perfect circle and Alt that we draw from the center. And here it is. We then fill the selection with a color of our own choice. And I fill it with this one. It's not that important which color we choose, we can always change it later on. We deselect the selection by pressing Ctrl D. The next step is clicking on the ellipse tool found under shapes and make sure that it's set to path. We create a path. And again, while holding the Shift and Alt key and draw from the intersection of the guides, we draw a circle smaller than the size of the batch. And here is our circular, circular path. We switch to the type tool and change font and font size and font color. I make the text black. And then we click on the path. When we click on the path the text follows its shape. And I type in uppercase the New. I make sure that the text is centered as it is here and when holding the control key an eye beam shows up and now we can precisely place the text. And This looks good. I make the text a little smaller. This one's ready. To make the other half of the text we first duplicate the text layer. the new copy. Then we click in the text with the type tool, select all and retype the new words. We can eventually switch off the other layer temporarily to avoid confusion. Ok, this one is switched off, now this one and this has to be a viking. Then we hold the control key again and drag and drag the text to the bottom. There it goes.
We place it on top of the path, otherwise the text is upside down. So. I increase the font size a little more for this one. Let's um, so we now need to shift the text down so that the top aligns with the path, and that can be done with the baseline shift. We select all the text. And change baseline shift that's found in the character dialog. And it's this one. And I'll change it to minus 55 at first. Okay, maybe 57. Okay, and now is the top of the text aligned with the path. Make sure to reset baseline shift after creating the batch. I'll bring back the other text, the new. There it is. Now we have the new Viking. And now we can place the image of the new Viking. I have here a transparent uh, version of that in the center of the batch simply by dragging and there it goes no I rescale the image by using free transform To make the batch look three-dimensional, switch to the circle layer, that's layer 1, and apply an inner bevel layer style. Let's see. There it is. And finally, Add some drop shadow. We then merge the layers except for the background. Layers merge visible. And rotate the button slightly with the help of uh, free transform. And there is our new Viking button. It's ready.